Now let's talk on the note level how property plant and equipment is presented in the notes to the financial statements. So this is the cost of the PPNE. Uh, this is the specify the cost at which they have acquired the asset, which means uh, we'll discuss on uh, what are the costs that are eligible for capitalization, and uh, these are the various categories of uh, PPNE categories of PPNE held by the entity during the current years, like land building, they have technical expertise, other equipment, and some uh, capital work in progress. So this is the total PPNE. You add the costs. These are additions, changes in the uh, consolidated group, transfer, disposal, exchange differences, and everything will come up here. So this is the gross cost of the property, plant, and equipment. This is what we call it gross block. This is what we call it as a gross PPNE. After that, you need to deduct from the gross the depreciation part. It starts from depreciation here and an impairment element so uh, if we have gone like uh, in the previous uh, video we did we understand the accounting policy of uh, the entity is to carry the property plan and equipment at cost less the accumulated depreciation less accumulated impairment losses so the first we talk about the cost second we talk about the impairment law impairment uh, depreciation expenses accumulated depreciation expenses and third we are talking about the uh, accumulated impairment part and the balance is the net amount as uh, the balance is the net amount net carrying amount in the uh, financial statements